So as much as I've been loving the real mowing the backyard, it's been heating up and I always had intended to keep the backyard at about two inches this year. But the one thing I haven't talked about a whole lot recently as far as rotary mowers go is lawn striping. How does that occur? What kind of tools you can use to achieve some cool stripes in your yard? So let's talk about that today. So the first question is what is lawn striping and how does it actually occur? So it's actually a very simple process. A lot of people think that you have to cut the grass at a different height or you have to do certain things to it in order for you to achieve the stripe look but it's really not that difficult at all it's simply bending of the grass blades the easiest thing I can tell you if you think about a material like velvet when you brush it in different directions it has a lighter or a darker look well the same thing happens with grass blades when you bend the grass in one direction and then come back on the next pass in the opposite direction and then you look at it behind the Sun you're going to see those stripes because of the bending of the grass and just the way that light is coming off of those grass blades so another easy way to really explain this is this little flap here that's on the back of the mower. Now, it's really intended as a safety feature so that anything that's underneath the deck doesn't come flying back out here. But what it also does is allows this grass to bend as it goes. Now, there's not a lot of weight on here, but you will see that the grass is bending a little bit. And then that is actually going to help to put the stripe down. So. There's many things that I've tried over the years, putting some weight on here. Some things work to a varying degree, but the problem becomes when you back up and you have weight on this thing, it likes to go like that, and then it ends up underneath the mower. So that's the only problem with doing something like that. So next option you have is to get what is usually called a striping kit of some kind. And this is the Toro Lawn Striping System. This thing is simply attaches to the back of your mower. You've got this roller on here, this little comb to kind of comb up the grass then roll it back down when this roller goes over it and you put sand in here and then when it's rolling along you're going to be bending down the grass again and getting your stripes. Same company that makes that one for the Toro right there makes them for pretty much any other push mower you can use. I happen to have gotten one of those and I'm going to attach it to my Honda mower today and show you what kind of work we can do with it. First thing you're going to notice in the box is this little label right here that tells you exactly how to put it on and make sure that it's at the correct angle. So we'll save that for a second here. First thing I need to do here is remove this little plug and I need to put some sand in here for some weight. So it says anywhere between 16 and 20 pounds of sand and I didn't measure the weight exactly but I'm just going to fill this thing up as much as possible. Weight is going to help to bend those grass blades and get a better defined stripe. So I got that thing filled up now, I'm just going to tighten this again. Make sure that it goes down past this little kind of ridge that's cut out because you don't want it hitting on the roller and that this thing can go around like that. By the way, I got two because my neighbor bought one of these and has been using it, so I was just checking his to see how much weight was in his and looks like we got about the same. Alright, so first thing is this goes around the handlebar. It should have these little teeth. Kind of got these in the way here, but you want it about a third of the way up the actual handlebar here. So I'm going to try it about there. this piece to go in here I will say definitely on the first couple tries here I found that any of these metal to metal connections they are a little bit stiff with the paint so once you get them in there it's really nice and secure but it was a little difficult to kind of wear off a little of that paint on these metal to metal connections but you just kind of got to fiddle with it a little bit till you get those things right
so there's the first set of stripes and I'm telling you it's quite amazing that just a roller can give you those results but that's what it does that's simply just bending the grass down and the sunlight being at the correct angle here coming kind of from this direction looking this way and you'll see the stripes really well defined like that now I don't think that I can simply stop there I think we need some 45 degree angle stripes in there see how that looks give it a little more of a pop to it than just the straight stripes so let's give that a try Okay, and there we have it. The double mow is done. Got some stripes in this direction, some stripes in the other direction. The more that you go over this thing, the more that these lines would get defined. Now, you don't want to mow in the same direction every single time, but if you did go over it a couple times, two, three times in the same pattern, that'd be considered sort of what's called burning in of your pattern, and it will get much more defined. There's a couple things that I like about this roller here that I want to show you as well. The on-off part of it is kind of a big deal to me because I like to go around the corners first, and just having this thing on there, it's fine, but the whole point of a push mower is that you can get into corners back up easily so just being able to take that off is a big selling point to me because it's so easy to just remove put back on and then you can use it when you want it and remove it when you don't want it you also might be thinking that you don't really ever want to remove it but think about using your mower for renovations or things like that where you don't really want a roller on there you don't want to really be doing any striping at that point you're doing some renovation work having the ease of that coming on and off is a big thing for me. The other thing is that a lot of these are stationary attached to the mower, so you'll have brackets on each side and it'll just sort of be fixed in one position. And totally fine again with that situation, it will give you great stripes. But the fact that this thing turns is nice because going around corners or doing circles or patterns with more of a zigzag, the fact that this sort of follows the mower helps you do that pattern and you're also not digging into the lawn with it being stationary. So there's a couple other things to consider here when talking about lawn striping. One is that cool season grasses are going to in general stripe a little bit better than warm season grasses. If you do have warm season grass it's not that you can't get any stripes out of it. I've definitely seen some Bermuda and Zoysia that have had some pretty good stripes in it. In general the cool season stuff is going to have a better stripe to it. Also remember that the taller that the grass is the more defined the stripe will usually be. So if you've got tall fescue or you got bluegrass and it's at three inches so in those taller grasses you're usually going to get more of a defined stripe but I'm also cutting at three quarters of an inch up on the front yard here and with all rollers on my real mower you'll see that I'm still getting stripes out of that because I'm rolling the grass and bending those grass blades so that the light is showing the stripes. The last thing I wanted to mention is this thing is made in Milwaukee Wisconsin I've talked to some of the owners here and I wanted to be able to get this available to you guys directly through my website so it will be up on my website now and although I know they're probably Packers fans We'll let that go for just this one time. I always love supporting American companies here, especially the ones too that are close by here in nearby states. And the Midwest people are my people. That's what I always say. I grew up here and have lived in the Midwest my whole life. So supporting those people is important to me. So if you're interested in this thing, check it out on my website. I'll have a link down in the description. I hope you also learned today about lawn striping and kind of how you can achieve that in your own yard. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.